This Saturday kicks off Hispanic Heritage Month and the Florida Dairy Farmers are celebrating by highlighting the importance of Hispanic food culture in America. No question. I am a fan. Yes. And joining us this morning is Diane Smith with some delicious examples of Hispanic cuisine. Absolutely. Welcome, Diane. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Glad you are I here. Know. And I am I'm loving the spread. Everything is dairy infused, you said. Oh. Everything is very much so because, of course, dairy is delicious. It is delicious. And I even, I was looking at the bread and I'm thinking, how is that dairy infused? It is. So what we start in here is we have a little sampling of different uh, dishes from Latin America. Okay. That uh, we all love and they're sometimes mainstream in the um, American culture, right? So they're going to, if you haven't tried it yet, you're going to want to try it. So let's start out right over here. We have pan de bono. And what that means is a cheese bread. Bread. And it's usually from Colombia. They have it for breakfast. And oh. it is with um, flour as well as a corn uh, meal. And it has and cheeses in there. Them. And it's delicious. And the good thing about it is that you just put them in the microwave for 30 seconds. Ah. And they just feel like they were just right out of the oven. I like it. I like it. All right. And then bread. is this dessert? Is this breakfast? What is up there? Okay, so now we're going to Puerto Rico. And you, have you guys heard of a piña colada? Mm -hmm. uh, you love it, <laughs> right? By the pool in Florida. Delicious. So this is a healthy version of it. So what we've done is an overnight oatmeal version. Mm -hmm. And what is it in there? So we have the oats. Then we have a milk. Then we have Greek yogurt, which has double the amount of protein than regular yogurt. Some chia seeds. And then we have a little bit of pineapple and then toasted coconut and then top it up with a cherry. You make it overnight and then you can put it in the fridge and they'll be ready for you can in you the morning. Can you send us these recipes? I want to make sure we can well, actually, go back to them. Well, actually, all of these recipes are available at mm -hmm. floridamilk.com. Okay. All of them for you so you can have them there. Easy enough. And this right here before we get making this mac and Absolutely. Cheese. Then we have arepas, which a lot of people, they're from Venezuela and there are other mm -hmm. Latin American countries, but they think that they're sweet. But these are actually savory. You know when you go to the fair and they might have the yellow arepa with like yeah, the yeah. cheese in the middle. Uh -huh. So this is kind of a version, but this is a savory version. It's made with white corn, and then you can fill it up with whatever you like, any kind of chicken, shredded chicken, shredded pork, cheese, and then put a little bit of parsley, and then you can take them for you either for morning, breakfast, or a snack. I'm sold. <laughs> They're delicious. Sold. And I'm sold too, yeah, looking at what we've got actually mm. on the stove right now, right, Diane? Absolutely, okay, so what we have is does you, do you guys like Cuban mac and, or Cuban uh, sandwich? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to make a Cuban mac and cheese. Huh. And what would you say you'd ask? So we're going to make um, your favorite mac and cheese recipe, which we also have it in our website. Okay. But what we're going to do is we're going to infuse it with all of those flavors from the Cuban sandwich. I cannot believe we haven't seen or heard about this right. before. So it, what we're going to do, sense. yeah, so we're going to add some Swiss cheese. Okay, Swiss, Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese, exactly. So we're going to add some Swiss cheese to kind of just get that beautiful flavor um, from the Cuban sandwich. Okay. Right? And then, of course, we're going to have some roasted pork okay. that you can either make it at home or it's a lot easier. You can just buy it at the yeah. supermarket. Uh, yeah, anywhere that you can do uh -huh. it, right? It's a shortcut. <laughs> and it's delicious. And you're just going to put it right in there. And you're going to mix it all in. And then these are little pieces of diced ham, which I just roasted. And just put a little bit of adobo. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, it looks like shiny. Yeah. It looked like it had some kind of glaze or something. Oh, just on because it. we just cooked them. That's why. Ah. So they're nice and warm for you. So there we go. We have that. And you're going to mix all of those flavors in and make sure they get all melted in. Look at that. I'm wondering when the delicious? pickles come in. Do we stir <laughs> the pickles in or is it an app? You know, is it like a display thing? Well, I think that's a very personal Got choice, okay. <laughs> right? Oh. Okay. Are you in the pickle fan or the no pickle I, fan? I do like pickle. But I don't know if I've thought of it in like mac and cheese. I have not, but I am all about it. We're getting votes no from our control room. Ed saying no pickles. Well, you know, anybody who knows me, uh -huh. they know that I don't do pickles. Oh, but, you know, oh, there you so go. So I have them there for you. So I cannot lie. So I'll have them for there for you. But if you like them, go ahead and put them in. But if you don't, don't worry about it. Okay. So Can then I what we do that, 
and we just let this it. This is so easy. I'm so <laughs> going to do this. I, I know. Like. It's, it's super easy, but yet you're celebrating you Hispanic culture in this way. Absolutely. We just wanted to make sure that, you know, if you haven't tasted some of these dishes before, mm -hmm. go ahead and give them a try. We wanted to give them a little spin to some of the classics and then also experience the Hispanic culture and the cuisine because what other better way than to really integrate with them, right? Bring it to a friend or maybe you have a friend from that country and ask them what their favorite way to make it is. Well, good. I was just going to ask you, there's a, there's a website there too. Yes. Best place to get those recipes? The recipes for many more, you can um, check out FloridaMilk.com and you can also Easy. follow us on social media at Florida Milk. Great. Thank Easy you for coming enough. in. I know. Very Come much. back anytime. Do Look we at this. Taste? Yes, absolutely. Right, let's taste. We'll pour this up. Here we go. Oh, look at Here this we go. Right now. I got you guys spoons already ready. Oh, look at this. All right, we'll dive in. We're out of time. Coming <laughs> oh, up next, there you go. a father.